hey guys so I am going to do my makeup real quick and then we're going to discuss the Dutch house guys I did finish it um, but I wanted to um, add something different because um, a subscriber asked me to do get ready with me so gotta try something new with these vlogmas videos now the lighting is not the greatest because I usually do the, my makeup sitting up in the bathroom and uh, I wasn't about to do that so I'm gonna do this real quick speed up some things because you know anybody gonna sit here and watch me forever doing my makeup um, but I wanted to talk about blog stuff because I typically post once a week and this is like my blog day and guys it is so frustrating because um, this is the primer I use which is the, the Tasha um, because unfortunately I don't have a photographer and I'm not uh, a big time blogger that has photographers to pay I don't have that kind of coin so it's just frustrating me because I have to depend on family and friends to do my um, pictures and so this is one of those days where I have to be creative because I don't have that you know I have to set up my camera a certain way and you know get um, so I use the L'Oreal this is the um, N10 which is the neutral um, it's what I use. It's a perfect shade. And I used to have to buy the expensive um, foundation. Them days are over when I found out I can ten dollars. <laughs> and if you have CVS, when they have a certain sales, you get it done. So that's what I use um, for my um, foundation. It's the perfect shade, and it's and they're actually darker shade than this. So I love that. So that's what I use. So what I was saying with the the you know the blog is like finding someone to take my pictures. Now Mel usually does this a lot of my favorite pictures Mel does and my my mom and my brother would take pictures. Mel is just the best though. Like when she does pictures, you can tell um I get the most views because a lot of people, a lot of fashion bloggers come on my blog. Um whenever I post photos of me dressed up because I love to dress up I have a lot of clothes and shoes and stuff but guys when there's nobody to take your pictures <sighs> it's frustrating it's you know I think being a book blogger is so much easier because you can just put your books on some you know read your book put your book on something and take your pictures and and you don't need anybody to help you as far as a book blog. I think book blog is so much easier. So I'm going to use my neutral Uda um, nude and the color. I think I hauled this in one of my videos, but I love the neutral. And this is all I, this entire palette is all I need um, for a simple look. I'm not doing nothing crazy today. So um, it's just, it makes me like frustrated because I sometimes have, um, I I do really a uh, blog post I really enjoy and I can't post it because I don't have you know anything to put up to um any photos and so a lot of times I do take the photos myself like a prop I use a timer I use the I bought a remote to take the, the photos but oh my god it's, it's, it's sometimes you know I, I, I have in the past will post something that I didn't like the photos that much at all but at the same time it's like I needed to put something up so I kind of like bite the bullet and just like edit the heck out of it sometimes um, I would try to put it in a black and white but I find that black and white especially on a dark skinned person always always looks good so I find myself having to do that a lot of cases and it's just like oh my god like <laughs> I have to do what I gotta do so you know it's it's one of those situations where you just have to like you know be committed and hoping that whatever you wrote is good enough and people are gonna just be overlook the pictures um, but 
I, I mean, sometimes it just will be easier for me just to be a book blogger only, but that's just not me. My blog has never been just about books. My YouTube has been all about books. I dedicate my YouTube um, back in June of 2017 just to books. When I started my channel, it wasn't. It was more, it was a bit of everything. And then I decided to, um, to just make it just about books. And I'm glad I did that because I enjoy sitting down talking about books. And I love that I don't have nothing to stop me but myself. It, it would be more like me not reading a book to stop me. So I like that part. And um, so I have to like be okay with that. And um, that's what I've been doing now. But I love my blog. I love sharing stories and talking about everything that is not just about books you know life it's like my creative outlet for sure and you know I love it and I have to like be creative you know I, I because I can't always depend on someone to do it for me I know my family are supportive um but this is not their thing and I, I sh you know I can't expect this to be their thing so I do what I gotta do so I'm going to speed up some of this, guys, because I'm just looking at the, the recording and it's, it's already long already. So I am going to put lashes and all that stuff on, um, but I'm going to speed up with the concealer, the contour and all that stuff that I do do. Um, and the sun is coming up, so the natural light should be popping in anytime soon because... I look crazy, right? Guys, this was the best thing to come out in 2000. This Julia's Place. It's supposed to be a foundation stick, but I use this contour. Guys. When you're dark skin, find the contour, <laughs> and this is so dark. Like if you're darker than me, it will work, and I love it. I love it. You know, I got that little double chin situation. Yeah, the struggle. So guys, this is it. Oh my god, I know the lighting, guys. The lighting. Um, I'll try this another time if it doesn't come out great, but I tried, guys. <laughs> so this is pretty much my regular look. This is just simple. It's nothing um, over the top. Um, and I'm going to put something on, and we're going to talk about uh, the Dutch house. Yeah. So guys, we're going to be talking about the Dutch house. Now this is my first Anne Patchy book and I've heard so much about her. Um, some love her, some not so much. So of course, I knew it was going to be interesting reading her story. Now when I started this book, I absolutely loved it. It is definitely my cup of tea in terms of family drama. Um, so I was in it and I was in it. And then it got to a point where I, I was like, just my, I just didn't care for it after a while. Um, this story that is in, it's written in an autobiography kind of setting where a young boy is telling the story of how he lived in this house, key, the, the Dutch house, how and how his life changed with series of events that happened. So this is started from a man who bought this um, Victorian looking, it's supposed to be grand and beautiful and everything that you would think of an old house with history. And he bought this house without his um, speaking to his wife and um, at the time he had a daughter, the, the narrator um, of the story, he wasn't born yet. So um, the woman now comes from this idea that she, she was poor and 
and she's in a house that doesn't belong to them because of how grand it was. Versus this husband who's so proud to buy this house, to, to be in this house and to, to have his family in this house. Uh, but he's not seeing the other side. So over time, they're living in this house. Um, the narrator is not born. And his mother left. She, there was no explanation where she left or where she went. So it was just him, his sister, and his father now in this house. His father is a developer, so he buys buildings and he flips them and that's how he works. Um, but he also instilled in what he loves in, in his son. Um, while his daughter had some, um, didn't get to that that um to to do that even though she herself um was much more into it um than you know anyone expected and as i said the father got married and um a, a woman come in the picture so now you have one woman who hated being in that house and another woman who now want to be in that house because of what that house represented and you see the relationship with the stepmom and how things deteriorated over time and the, all these negative things that's happened. Now I'm reading this and that part of the book was interesting. It was interesting seeing them growing. It's interesting to see the, the daughter going off to college and she's trying to find herself and all these things you expect in a family drama. Um, and then the sad case of, a, of the, the evil stepmother, if that's the best word I could put it. Um, all that was great and a lot of tragedy. Now, let me tell you, this this was not a good book in terms of making your mood right. This is a sad book. It's, it's really sad. But all that was going on, I was so upset when the, you know, of course, naturally, you know, somewhere along the line, the mother's story is going to pop up. And when the mother popped up and the things she was doing, I was just like, oh my God, I just wanted to finish reading this damn book. I was just not, the, the, I didn't even know what I'm supposed to get from this story. Like, you know, you read all these stories and you you, you want to grab something from it just because it, you invested your time reading these stories. So you want to, to get something out of it where you can see, get, you know, see the story for what it is. Because this is not entertainment. Nothing about this is entertainment. Now, there's some books I really just like the entertainment, laugh about it. Didn't get nothing out of it deep, but it's entertaining. This is not entertaining. And the things that happened at the end with that damn mother. And how she just on this crusade of saving the world and neglecting her responsibility as a mother. And how the daughter's situation ended. I was just like... This was, this was all, I, I, I just, I hated this book. That part just made me pissed off. I was pissed off. I'm still pissed off. I don't understand what, what is, and it still didn't have no message at the end. What message? The woman basically feel like she is Mother Teresa. She is Mother Teresa, and she's going to save the world, but That's how I felt. I mean, yeah, I'm going to just stop right now because this is, I, I mean, I gave it a three star because I, you know, the, the most, for the most part, I love the beginning. I love where it was heading. I thought it was heading until the end when I was pissed at that freaking mother. Like I was pissed. <laughs> I'm really pissed. I'm still pissed. This mother was just God awful. She was awful. I, I, I'm sorry. I would have rather them say she was a mental nutcase or something, but... Like, if you read this book, how did you really feel about it? <laughs> just, just let me know. So, yeah. I'm gonna, you know, stop talking about this damn book. I mean, this book is gonna go on the shelf with, the, with other books that's pissed me off for different reasons. Um, yeah. And... Yeah, I'm going to go out now to this uh, pop-up shop where I got this head thing. And she's going to, she has a week, she's there for the weekend, so, you know. And then I need to finish my blog situation. So, because I need to post the blog tonight, or well, today, next hour or so. So, yeah. Pilot. Yeah.
Okay, that green. Mm hmm. Yeah, see, that's she knows exactly what you need. Yeah. Because <laughs> I follow her. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the earrings. Yeah, the I never thought here. about that. Because I wear that green all the time. Yeah, it's just. I'm a head right. This time of the year, I love it too. Even yeah, more. So it's so sweet. So now we're like awesome. ripping this thing apart. Yeah. yeah. So I'll just take it Yeah, I had to do that. And I catch myself in the middle. Oh, these are nice. That's nice. And I find that when I'm comfortable and I feel attractive, I like to hide my face. Fascinating, man. That's why I'm like, I should just like get rid of it. Oh, you try, you try a bunch of. Yeah, I like a messy bun when I yeah. see it. Like, you know, like with this, I feel like it adds that. But I don't know how to do it. I don't have my. Um, and I always have it. Um, Alright guys, I'm glad I came out. I got about four head wraps. I'm so happy because these head wraps, the quality, I've had this since 2016 and it hasn't fallen apart. So glad I got some more and I'm going to be rocking them in videos so you definitely see them. Um, but I'll put her um, Instagram information so she you can buy it online but she has really good quality fabrics that she used on her head wraps. So if you're in the head wrap game, check her out. Alright guys, thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.